So yes, if you've also noticed, I have half an eyebrow. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Samantha Panilio, your Miss Grand Philippines 2021. And please join me in my favorite part of my day, which is taking my makeup off. It's been such a long day. We had a bunch of interviews. I've had my makeup on for 12 hours now. <laughs> so the first thing that I do when I remove my makeup is of course tie my hair because I like it to be clean. So now that my hair is all tied up, let's start removing my makeup. First step that I like to do when removing my makeup is using this product by Vanilla Co. It's called Clean at Zero and I swear it does wonders. Shout out to Anne. I actually gave this for my birthday last year um, because she knows that I have such a busy schedule and I always have makeup on. So you first just want to get some with your fingers. This much is fine. Automatically you see the makeup coming off. Look, you see the oil turning brown a bit. Oh, it just feels so good. And also one thing about this oil I noticed that it also gets hot, you know, while you rub it. So I usually start around my face and I make my way into my eyes. And see right there, it's already off. Get into the brows. <laughs> I look like I'm drenched in oil, but I swear this is so worth it and it feels so good. So, so I'm going to rinse my face. As you can see, everything's kind of off now. So as you can see, a lot of makeup, but I really don't recommend using a full towel, but um, I'm out of towelettes. So yes, the only thing about this though is you want to make sure that it doesn't get into your eye because the oil can definitely irritate the eye and it feels like it's quite foggy. So now I'm going to remove my lashes and see, you can easily take it off now. So the second step that I do when removing my makeup is using this Laura Mercier Smooth Makeup Remover for the eye specifically. And what's nice about this is that even if it gets into your eye, it really doesn't hurt at all. And I usually have oily skin and I feel that I get oily right away, especially when I have my foundation on for such a long day. And today's makeup was very light, so I enjoy that. <laughs> I enjoy the days where I have light makeup because when it's dark, it takes longer. <laughs> so next, after I finish with the Laura Mercier for eye makeup remover, I use some towelettes from Retonalex. You can get this at Beauty Bar. Yeah, so just to get the residue out and also to get some of the oils out from my first step with vanilla skin. So yes, these days have just been so busy with our media tours and I cannot give enough emphasis on how important skincare is because if you leave makeup on at night, um, it will definitely affect your skin the next day. And for me, I don't usually have breakouts or anything like that, but it does contribute to having rough skin maybe the next day. So after I see that all my makeup is gone, I use this Pavi L. It's a foam cleanser. And what's great about this is that it has a little brush here. So yeah, I give my face a little bit of a scrub and this feels so good. It feels like you're going to a spa. Yeah, just spread it. Oh, lots of baby hairs too. Guys, if you have baby hairs, own it, love it. Okay, just gonna rinse. So next is, of course, the alcohol-free toner, and you always need this. And this one is by Neutrogena, and I've always been a good customer of Neutrogena. So I really do trust this brand, except for the cap. <laughs> this feels so great. So yes, if you've also noticed, I have half an eyebrow. <laughs> because my makeup artist insists to cut it so that we can shape it to whatever shape we want to according to the peg that we have that day. You know, if you want to put it up, it's fierce. And if you want to put it down and have a more natural, we call it the Filipino bushy brow. He says it's so animated to the Filipino bushy brow. I love seeing it. For the toner, of course, I use my handy dandy Chanel Hydra Beauty Lotion. This is new, I think, in their collection. And obviously I don't use this all the time because it's quite pricey, but I love it. And um, there's also some exfoliation in there if you guys see it. Oh my gosh, you know, one time I gave my dog a facial. <laughs> uh, she 
you got a good one that day. I feel clean. And also don't forget to put lotion in your neck too because your makeup goes there, your foundation gets there as well. The last thing that I do for my lips, again, lip care. I'm still trying to learn about lip care, trying to get into it. Now, you know, we're gonna stick to the handy dandy petroleum jelly. And this is also great for your hand and feet care as well, just FYI. This is a, something my mom taught me ever since I was young. But as beauty queens, we are always in heels and you know how that can cause a lot of in Filipino or Tagalog rather, Kalio, and they're not so nice and they don't feel so good. So this is a great solution to it. Petroleum jelly, you guys, I swear by it. Thank you for joining me and removing my makeup and please don't tell anyone about my brows. Bye.